So we've got this component that we want to add some um, variable radius fillets to and we also want to add the new G2 continuity with this. So using our heads up display and the mini toolbars that we've now got in um, Inventor 2012 I'm going to choose that I want to add a variable radius fillet set and choose the edge. We can see we get a dynamic preview where we can choose our start and end radius. We can also add a new point within here as well and we can select this directly onto the geometry we can place our point down set the radius for that particular point and when again we can see we get a dynamic preview of that variable radius fillet we can even interact directly with the preview and again we can see how that fillet will behave if we want to position this accurately we can, pos we can use the positioning point and actually use a, a value to position this but this is quite a neat little trick. If you hold down the Alt key and drag the position, you can actually dynamically see how that variable radius fillet will look if you move it around the geometry. So we've actually got a dynamic preview of the variable radius fillet just by, as I say, holding down the Alt key and dragging it around. I'll just set the G2 continuity there. You can see as I rotate this model around, we can see that how that change actually affects the component. And again hold down the Alt key, move the position of that variable radius fillet, and we can move it all the way around the model and again we're getting dynamic updates and you can see how that variable radius fillet is changing across the edge of our component in real time. Once we're happy with where we've got, and I'm just going to pop this back at halfway along the edge, so I set the position to 0.5, and there we've got our G2 variable radius fillet.